Dani Bharti Jindabad! Dani Bharti Jindabad! Firstly, congratulations. I've seen the first two episodes and it is so sleek. Um, and I'm really excited to see the next three. Thanks for the screen, Arishma. Um, so, yeah, I'm just uh, wondering how you both got involved and what was it about the characters and the story that most reached out to you? So, uh, there are various reasons, uh, as usually the case is, <laughs> to sign up anything. I think the first one uh, was definitely Mr. Subhash Kapoor was uh, helming the show. And uh, he's the show creator and I've had a long association with him, uh, both personally and professionally. Uh, I remember I was shooting for something else uh, simultaneously and uh, that too was also for a show for Sony Lib. So I came to know that they're doing another show and I've been approached for it. And uh, uh, I, it's very hard to say no to uh, Mr. Subhash Kapoor because uh, I know it for a fact that if he's involved in something, it must have poured out of his, uh, from out of his heart and uh, would uh, have uh, an insight uh, which would be rare. And, uh, and, and uh, yeah, I think firstly and foremostly, I think just being, uh, uh, you know, being with him on the set and, uh, and working for him uh, was a thrilling idea. And then... Uh, we had sessions about the story and uh, when I heard the story and the character they wanted me to play, it was something that I'd never uh, done before. Like I've, in bits and pieces, I've tried uh, and touched uh, the political, uh, the political area in uh, my other performance, uh, but uh, not, not uh, fully into it. So it was an exciting opportunity to explore something which was something that I'd not done before and uh, and the more I got into reading it, uh, the kind of writing uh, that there was to it and the depth which uh, the writers had come out with and the detailing and uh, the other characterizations, it looked like a full thing to get into. And, uh, and then from there on, it was very easy to say yes to it. With the actual story itself, is it quite... Uh... Is it, is it quite uh, similar to reality to like what actually happened 20 years ago? Or? Um, I think, see, what, I think what has happened is uh, with the writing, especially uh, uh, Mr. Subhash Kapoor himself, he's an ex journalist, you know, so he was into journalism for, I think, many years. And uh, his bent of mind uh, uh, is also very political. Like he, he would not write anything which doesn't have any meaning attached to it, right? So, when you write a political script and you always have had that bent of mind, so obviously a lot of referencing from real life would come into the story because you can't write something out of nothing, you know? So, I mean, it has to come from some place. So I am sure that people would be able to, you know, while watching uh, the web series would be able to identify with a lot of characters from the, from reality. It, it, and it, and there's, quite a huge possibility of the fact that that uh, a, a one character could be inspired from many characters from real life you mm. know what i'm saying just 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 to take the story forward but uh, having said that i really never felt that it's it's uh, it's based on anybody you know or mm. it's based on a uh, on a on a, some some truthful true event or something like that so no, it's not that. It's completely a fictional story where the writer uh, consciously had made a choice uh, to say something uh, to his audiences, and uh, that's what it's about mostly. Mm -hmm. I and mean, it's it's really interesting. Like with the recently, there's been a huge increase in in political dramas. Uh, there was. Um, I mean, not into a huge level, but like Mirzapur gave a really great sort of like a uh, comparison to, you know, what was happening with the underworld and politics. And um, yeah. then we had a Thunder, which came out recently as well, which went a lot more into the political side. Um, yeah. I mean, what do you think is that has increased this interest in, in political drama? I think, uh, I don't know about the, the rest of the world, but, <laughs> you know, I mean, India, um, it's it's still a very 
uh, on, on a large scale, it's still a very uh, uh, rooted uh, traditional place and, uh, and it's, it's very feudal in nature still. And, uh, and we, I think, as uh, citizens are completely enamored by either cricket or politics, you know, so, <laughs> so, uh, and I mean, and, and and rightfully so, because I mean, leaving aside cricket for the uh, for this part, I think with politics, especially because it affects it affects you from the ground over, right? So I mean, if you if you go to smaller towns, smaller cities, or something like that, or villages, you know, you you'd find a lot of people from their respective areas, you know trying to make it into the political arena, trying to, you know, uh, network into the political arena. And that's how life goes. And uh, it, it might sound cliche, but uh, it's a fact that uh, any thriller kind of activity or anything that thrills people uh, would sell. Like I've been a part of series which was uh, largely based on cricket. Mm. Uh, now this is based on uh, politics. Uh, sex cells you know <laughs> so mm. so i mean i mean polit there is no better thriller to make than politics and no better way uh, in fact for a writer to say what he wants to convey to the audience than write a political script mm. and uh, i think it also i mean uh, subhash ji would speak for himself but what i gather out of it is that uh, he really wanted to make this you know so because he wanted to make this, uh, the OTT platforms like Sony Live picked it up because they, they liked the depth of the writing. They liked what the writer was up, uh, trying to say. They, they, prob they liked what uh, the show creator uh, wanted to convey to the audiences. So I think uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of factors coming in together so that they, 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 there's two sides to it. Somebody who wants to pick up the show for what it is and somebody who's written it to convey the message that they want to convey to the audiences. So I think it's a very honest association. I think that is why uh, this got picked up and the other works might also got picked up. But I think this one is a more, more in-depth uh, 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 analysis of what goes into the life of uh, uh, a po political people. But having said all this, uh, th see, this story is also about personal relationships. You know, so it's it's... So the setup is politics. Yeah, they like going through life together uh, through the same engine that is driving them. But then it's also about personal relationships. And let's not forget, it's also about a woman who's suddenly uh, been made the chief minister of Bihar and uh, a woman who's not qualified to do it. And, uh, and she's in a very male-centric arena, you know, and, uh, and uh, who has uh, trust of nobody, even from a... Uh, own party, you know. Mm -hmm. So, how does that go on? How what what goes on about with that? I think that is the main focal point of the story. Is it um, in terms of uh, what she goes through in the series without spoilers? Um, you know, is it possible to sort of like uh, it, it, would it be realistic? Like what happens in the series? That you know, is it quite? Is it based on a lot of uh, female experiences in Indian politics today? Uh, uh, <laughs> without giving too much away, uh, I would just like to say on this note that uh, no, it does not happen to everybody because uh, because a lot of uh, women in Indian politics uh, want to get into politics and there's a desire to you know get into it. Uh, in this case, it's quite the opposite. She never had the desire to get into it. It was just it, it was just out of a of an opportunity that arises that she's pushed into it. So it's uh, it's so there are very there are a lot of moments which will bring a smile and laughter to you to, to people's faces because because she is uh, as is evident in the in in a lot of teasers also that she's in she's a complete loss of the world she's been pushed into you know mm -hmm. and she doesn't want it. Yeah. But because she's because she's challenged as a, a woman that uh, and, and an illiterate woman that she won't be able to handle it, and she's put down. I think that sort of ignites something uh, uh, to follow it through and make it through. You know, so mm -hmm. I think that's the part 
uh, we shouldn't miss in the story. I think that's the, the key part of the story. Mm. And you play a very strong sort of like role in, in her rise as well. Um, what was it about your character in, in the story that sort of like most appealed to you? See, the, what appealed to me was the fact that, you know, we all have gotten into this habit and that too very recently because of this explosion of social media posts and opinions and stuff like that. That we have started uh, very, in fact, cynically to look at life just in black and white. You know, and life is not about black and white. Life is all sorts of colors, all sorts of shades of colors, uh, all sorts of shades of black and white. You know, and uh, I think when you watch the story, you feel for these characters, including mine, that uh, that whatever might be coming across is right is actually uh, is actually probably not right or probably not wrong maybe it's just it's just what is happening in their world and for them to survive in this world they have to do certain things which they probably are not very happy about doing or but they have to do it and you know, when you're in a position of power and that is when the power starts corrupting, I think, is where, it's where you, that you, you are, like you're right on the top, at the top and you're looking down at people, you know, and sooner or later you forget the fact that they are people, you know, they are your, they are your subjects or whatever you might want to call them and you are here for all of them. But but the subjects themselves are so divided and you know and uh, and so out of out with it that that you need to make a choice how much how, how much ever uh, problematic it might be for you or how much ever uh, if it might affect you negatively or positively so i think i think those kinds of things um, are explored in each and every character written in the script you know so there's nobody that you might you might probably find somebody to be a complete uh, villainous sort of a person, but they might not turn out to be, you know. And that's that is what makes a thriller out of it as well, you know. So they so I mean there is there is a certain uh, level of drama happening between the key players, but then uh, there's a lot of thrill element to it, to it also. And I and I and I really think it's also a love story. It's it's. It's love for it's love for oneself, love for the seat, love for the power, and uh, you know, and it's and these these characters are completely dedicated. They're completely in love with that power, you know. And uh, as they say, everything is fair in love and war. So <laughs> you, you 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 don't you don't know where to draw the line. You know, sometimes the line fades so much that mm. you don't know when you've crossed it. So I mean, it's a it's a very interesting. It's an interestingly, eventfully written uh, story. Yeah. No, I mean, it, it sounds very Shakespearean in terms of that whole it absolute is, power it is, corrupts it is. absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> so, it is. It is. is. Um, just, um, I'm, I'm just wondering in terms of, like, has it met any um, opposition so far? Like, for example, with um, uh, Tandav, it was that, you know, the chief minister of Uttar Pradesh uh, said that. I think so. I mean, as, I mean, it's never the intention to hurt anybody's sentiments. You know, when you write something as deep as this, it's always about, you know, you, somebody will have to be bad and say bad things to the other so to make sense of it, you know. But, but uh, it's uh, also being respectful towards other people's sentiments. So, I mean, you have to always, especially in our country, you know, weigh the, weigh the balance to it. For now, there is no major opposition. Let's wait and watch when it releases and people do get to watch it. Yeah, I'm super looking forward to it.